Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Bell with Yada Yada Health. I'm a pediatrician. I'd like to take a few minutes today and talk about a common question that I get in my pediatrics practice and something that all of us as parents uh, have to think about when we have baby boys. Uh, I'd like to talk about the decision that you make as far as whether or not you're going to do a circumcision. Uh, to go back and explain a little bit, uh, circumcision has a lot of cultural and traditional uh, factors. Uh, those are things that we can take into account. Medically speaking, there are a few advantages to doing a circumcision. Uh, advantages include a decreased risk of infections, uh, urinary tract infections, especially within the first six months of life. Uh, we see fewer penile cancers in boys that are circumcised. Uh, those are a very rare thing. Uh, decreased transmission rates for sexually transmitted diseases later in life. And just an improved overall ability to keep that area clean. Uh, disadvantages to doing a circumcision would include the procedure itself, which seems to scare off some people. Uh, up until maybe 15 years ago, it was almost unheard of to use anesthetics for those little boys. Uh, we use lidocaine now. Uh, we inject uh, both sides at the base of uh, the male genitalia uh, that is very effective at numbing up that area. If grandma and grandpa have seen circumcisions done uh, 20, 30 years ago, it is a little, little better tolerated now, thanks to the lidocaine. Uh, so the procedure itself can be a hurdle for some people. Uh, it's usually pretty tame. I would say about half of the kids we do circumcisions on are very calm and peaceful. Some even asleep during their circumcision. Some are definitely not happy, uh, probably mostly from just being strapped down and messed with, there's some tugging and pulling uh, that they're, they're gonna feel even though they're numbed up good with lidocaine. Uh, there's a cost to the procedure, which can be a, a downside. Uh, ranges can be anywhere from uh, $200 to as high as eight or $900. Uh, ask your local healthcare provider in their clinic uh, what the cost would be to you. Most insurances will cover circumcisions. Uh, an exception to that would be Medicaid. Uh, they are able to claim it as more of a cosmetic procedure uh, that is not medically indicated and uh, therefore don't pay for circumcisions. Uh, so the cost uh, can be a hurdle, especially if you're a Medicaid patient. Um, other disadvantages, there is a risk for having adhesion issues uh, post-circumcision. Uh, we see this in some of our kids. A lot of times it's a very mild issue uh, that if parents will push back a little bit on the skin and uh, your healthcare provider is able to monitor uh, how uh, those adhesions are evolving, you can usually keep those pulled down at well checks and at home when you do baths or diaper changes. Uh, a lot of times you're pushing down a little bit on that skin to keep those adhesions from uh, reattaching uh, to the head. Uh, so those would, those would be the main pros and cons with the circumcision. Basically, what I tell my patients is that there's not really a right or a wrong answer. It's really just dependent on parents, um, what you want things to look like. Uh, there are some advantages on the medical side of things, uh, mainly in just being easier to keep clean. Uh, but the decision in the end is up to you. Uh, but that, those would be the medical issues involved uh, and some things to think about when you're deciding whether or not to do a circumcision with your baby boy.